Amidst the rehabilitation comes news of mass weddings. Over the weekend and today, the site of the worst riots in recent times, Muzaffarnagar, has seen a spate of wedding ceremonies, group events organized by the very people who are running the camps for the displaced. When the Jamiat, in association with the Samajwadi Party, gets riots affected, married off, is it a smart strategy or is it a strange manifestation of the fear that residents in those camps are feeling? I'm Sunitra Chaudhary and on Agenda, we are joined by Niaz Ahmed Farooqi. He is of Jamiat, uh, who are organizing those weddings. Somebody who completely disagrees with the concept of that is social activist Shabnam Hashmi. She's also here in studio. And we also are joined by Bhukkal Nawab, Samajwadi Party leader, who will answer about the role that the government is playing in this entire process. But before we go to our pundits, let's just see how these mass weddings are being organized in an area that's yet to recover from the riots. No music, no celebrations, hardly a smiling face. One hundred and sixty couples set to tie the knot at this relief camp in Shahpur of Muzaffarnagar. The two thousand odd people living here fled their homes after last month's riots, violence that killed over sixty people and left many homeless. <laughs> The sense of loss and grief still so overwhelming that Imrana and her younger sister Simran see hardly any reason to celebrate. Some of these weddings were decided before the riots happened. Many of the grooms are from other relief camps and then there were a few who were not affected by the riots. The mass wedding organized by Jamiat Ulema Hind that runs many of the riot camps. And the entire cost has been taken by uh, this organization? Uh, yeah, um, some from uh, us, some from local community uh, donations and uh, but uh, uh, maximum is uh, from uh, Jimmy and the government no 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 nothing from nothing the government. nothing scared and vulnerable 320 people who got married here today have entered a new phase of their lives but with extreme uncertainty of when would they and their loved ones be able to resettle in their homes and their neighborhoods Reporting from Muzaffarnagar with Mother Lal, Anshar Bora, NDTV. So that brings us to our first talking point this evening on agenda. Should mass weddings be the priority post riots? And we'll get our uh, pundits to answer that in just a bit. First, let's just go across to Anchal, who covered those mass weddings uh, this morning in Muzaffarnagar. Anchal, you spoke with the people who were getting married. What did they say was the process? Were they happy about uh, getting married so soon after the riots? Well, Sunitra, this is not a wedding that any of the girls or any of the boys that we met had dreamt of. Uh, whether they were coerced into this or not is a difficult question to answer. Perhaps their parents and uh, the couple's victims of circumstances in this situation. Technically, in a way, their consent was taken because traditionally, according to their uh, uh, marriage ceremony, the girls and the boys are asked whether they accept a person who they're getting married to. But the atmosphere is one of immense insecurity. Now the parents claimed that they lost uh, all the savings and the material, all the stuff that they had stored for their daughter's wedding. And so how would they be able to get them married off? They are homeless right now. So how are they going to get back to their lives and be in a position again to get their daughters married? We also met some girls. Uh, their wedding, in fact, was not planned before the riots and has been planned in the last week or so because the parents felt in such an atmosphere it was not safe to keep their girls girls are most vulnerable in these circumstances so they wanted to get them married off too so bit of coercion perhaps one can say but both the parents and the daughters victims of these rights so 
Achal uh, reporting uh, on those riots, on those weddings that uh, took place today. There were some mass weddings, of course, on Saturday. Mr. Farooqi, the Jamiat, which you are a member of, organized this. And many, of course, as we spoke, were very happy that you organized that. But do you think what makes this top priority when they haven't even been placed at home yet? See, Jamiat Ulma Hind basically works for the rehabilitation of riot victims. This is not for the first time. Uh, it has been our experience that during the riots, the most vulnerable victims are children and women. And women suffer on two counts. First, during the riots, they are the main target, mm -hmm. the physical violence against them. And then after the riots, when they are in the transit camp, they fall prey to various kinds of people. First of all, the human traffickers. This we experienced during Assam riots. Mm -hmm. 